So Srila Rupa Goswami cried out, O Radhe, O Krishna, the lakes of your mind are filled with nectar streams of deep compassion. Be pleased with this wicked soul. Please show me the luster of love. That is the guarantee of seeing you. Why is Rati the guarantee? Srila Vishnavat Chakravarti writes that when Rati appears, the devotee's feeling of I-ness, of self-identification, enters into the spiritual body, which is fit for the execution of devotional service. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one friend, friend is like yes, very deep. It's very deep. I don't know. I can't explain. <laughs> I I try to attempt to humble attempt. So so we are doing devotional service. So that is two kind of devotional service. Sadaka Deha devotional service and Siddha Deha devotional service. Also, there is nine stages of bhakti. Ado Shraddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajana Kriya, Analta Nibriti, Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, and Lati, Uababa, and Prema. <laughs> okay. So maybe I explain a little bit. So at first we we met some sadhu and we hear about Lada and Krishna, or some spiritual matter. Then our heart naturally attracts that. And then that And then this is some kind of Shurata appear due to association of sadhu. And then slowly, slowly, we doing some bhajan. So Gurudev initiate us. 
Eh, our uh, bhajan and uh, chanting and meditation is start start. <laughs> Then Cheto Darpana Marijana. Slowly, slowly, our dirty heart is cleansing. Then more face is more, more uh, stick. So we have a strong face. Then some taste is coming. It's called luchi. And then this is more increase, more strong attachment. And then that that attachment and eagerness. Then we attain lati. So at that time, should our our intention should be one point. So that's Lati Baba. It is describes like a like a beginning of love. So, but to love some somebody, then we need object. In that sense, so we love Radha Mohan. If we are Radha Dasi, then we strongly attached to Lotus feet of Sri Matiladara. And Ladalani and Mohan, they does not have material body. So they have a spiritual body made by Satchit Ananda Vigraha. So if we want to love Radha Mohan, who, who has a spiritual body made by Satchit Ananda. In this material body, we cannot love spiritual body. So we have to have spiritual body. And this spiritual body, it's called the Swarupa. Sometimes in the spiritual body, in this book described Swarupa Besha, sometimes. So if our faith increased and one pointed taste increase, more attachment, greed is coming. Then slowly, slowly, spiritual body will manifest by the mercy of Guru Dev. Guru Dev is like a Guru Dev servant of Radharani. So if Radharani pleased, Radharani give inspiration to Guru Dev. Oh, this person is qualified or may not be qualified enough. But the Guru Dev gives some special mercy. Then, the sadaka get get inspiration or a fortunate soul can get spiritual body but it 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 comes through uh, 
step by step. So purification also step by step. But、uh, and this need association of especially Rashika Vaishnava, who is attain already Lati or Brema. Because someone who has love, that love reflects in the heart of Sadaka. Then, sad, if we, someone who gets association with Rashika Vaishnava, he can feel it. Then, That person's feelings increase more and more and more. <coughs> in, in our Sadaka Deha, that feeling is not manifest yet, so much, not so much. <laughs> But if we are purifying to, 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 ob, to obtain the association of Rashika Vaishnava, our heart is like a soft, more soft and softer. Like a sponge. It observes the water. And kind of that nectar is not ordinary water. Nectarian water. Full of rasa. Full of taste. Full of bliss. Gluten mentioned. Rasa mixing. Baba, Mahababa, become Ananda. I s o much ecstasy. We cannot imagine. This is all coming through the association of Rashika Vaishnava. Therefore, it is Shastra say. Without association with Rashika Vaishnava, we cannot attain Raga Bhakti. Because if someone does not have Rati, love, how can he get love? Say, for example, now, <laughs> now we are in India. So if I have 10,000 rupees, If somebody asks me, oh, give me 100 rupees, okay, I can give 100 rupees. If somebody says, oh, give me 1000 rupees, I can give 1000 rupees. But if I don't have any money with me, how can I give? It's impossible. So, therefore, we need the mercy of Rashika Vaishnava. We need Rashika Vaishnava Guru. If we want to attain Lati in Raga Bhakti. Also, Shastra says there is two kinds of Lati. One Lati comes from Baidi Bhakti. One Lati comes from Raga Nuga Bhakti. Raga Bhakti. It seems similar. But the mood and feelings are different. 
And goal is also different. Because Lati by the bhakti, they have some some tingy or or some some of Aishwarya Baba there. They attract uh, wealth and the power of Krishna of God. If we attract this power and wealth, then love becomes very, very small. But if we have so much love, then that love cover Aishwari Baba. <coughs> Therefore, someone who has that kind of Madura Baba, they don't think Krishna is supreme person in God. At first, Prabhupada mentioned, oh, Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. Everybody knows Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. But we went to Narayan Maharaj. He said, forget about Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. <laughs> Krishna is not supreme person. <laughs> if you think Krishna is supreme person, you cannot you cannot enter Braja. Yeah. You cannot get Braja Baba. You cannot get Manjari Baba. <coughs> we shocked. And from the beginning. We could not uh, fully understand. Maybe even now, I may not understand. But this Baba mentioned <laughs> so when Rati appears in devotion, devotees' feeling of eyeness. Self identification enter into spiritual body. <coughs> so this eyeness in in Sanskrit or maybe Hindi, I don't know. We say Abhima. But uh, in in material consciousness, we say Ahankara. In, in the material consciousness, we are thinking, we are this is, I'm this body. I'm doer. But it is completely wrong conception. Because that person is so covered by mode of ignorance and uh, passion. So we don't understand. But uh, if someone who is fortunate to get association of Rajka Vaishnava, we can understand. We are not this material body. We are not even soul. We have spiritual body. We have a swarupa. We have a manjari swarupa. But we need the mercy. So, to attain Lati, it's not easy job. So, we need 
Sadhana, we need mercy. Gurudev, you say, we cannot attain Lati due to our sadhana. Without, or did you say without? If we, we, we don't have enough kuripa of sadhu, guru, bhajnava, and Radha Moha. But even though someone who is full, <coughs> if, if someone who attain Guru Kuripa, or Vaishnava Kuripa, he can get this lot. In this Rati, or Radharani does not care qualification. This is interesting. Because Radharani is like a universal mother, spiritual mother. Mother is so kind to everybody. Especially someone who does not have qualification. Mother is very kind. But to, to get the mercy we need humbleness and a meek, submissive mood. Because mercy comes from higher to into lower. If we are puffed up, we are thinking, oh, I'm a great person. I'm an experienced person. I practice many years of bhakti. I graduate nice university. I have so much qualification. Then mercy does not flow because too high. Mercy cannot go. But if we think we are lower, lowest of lowest, at that time, mercy comes. So, therefore, we are very much eager to get the mercy and be also always be meek and humble. That's Kabiraj Goswami mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Tunada peace nichena. Tarori basahi shunna. Amani namana dena. Kiruta niyasada. So, in this mood, we think we are lower than grass of the road. Be tolerant like tree. <coughs> if we pay offenses, pay respect to all, including animals or any living entity. At that time, Krishna's Karuna Shakti, the energy of mercy come into by the association of Sadhguru Vaishnava. Then that person may get
I can go get it fast. Bhagavad Gita Prabhupada. The last line. His last paragraph. He is writing about the can you bring that? Well, I have to call her. She's getting it. So, so his, line, his last line is this. That. Because we are so so our nature is condition, is a condition. Right? Yes. And marginal. Marginal also, condition also are uh, independent of. <laughs> because his independency is a Krishna nature. Krishna is very independent. So this part and partial also come to the soul. Independence, zero. Everyone wants independence. We don't want to listen, no one to accept. There is independence. So this independence, will how go? If I will meditate in soul, it will not go. Its soul has to merge someplace. What is the worst in life? And the pleasure giving to both of us. Okay. Shurira Vishwana Chakrabati writes that poem, Lat. He appears, devotees feeling. Uh, Lati appears, the devotees feeling of eyeness. Eyeness, this eye soul. What I am practicing up to now, this eye. Mm. Uh, go on. So, eyeness, self identification. That self identification, I so. This identification. If I have a body identification, is very long way. It's a long distance call. But eyeness of the soul is there. Uh, it has to merge. What? This enter into the spiritual body. Yes, enter into the spiritual body. Enter in the spiritual body, that soul identification moved in the spiritual body. That is true. Independency is, has to be over. It's not merging. Up to that time, Sarup will not come. I have to be much in there. Read this and explain now. When Lati appears, the devotee is feeling of eyeness, self identification, enter into spiritual body. That's the point. That is, highness is also gone. There is no independence in that. So, Manjiri, when go to the Krishna, he said, you, you cannot touch me. <laughs> because I am not your part and partial. I am a Radha Dasi. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah. Gurudev, this is so when we are material consciousness means self identification is in this material body. 
at that time we are influenced by Maya, Mahamaya. But if we identification in the spiritual body, we are influenced by Fradi Nishakti. So that's the same thing. This is natural natural position. This is Prabhupada mentioned the 18th chapter. Last, 70, last paragraph. 78. Give, last give, paragraph. Give, give, read that. Prabhupada, how is not last I don't know. What is this? It's not working. Hey, Prabhuji. Hey, Baba. It's not working. So give to give to him his voice will not go. Give him. That is not my kind of Okay. No, no, it does not cross the back. You have to come on the east to work. Sorry. Okay. The uh, the living entity have a tendency to be in contact either with the material energy or with the spiritual energy. In other words, the living entity is situated between the two energy of the Lord. Wow. <laughs> and because he belongs to the superior energy of the Lord, he has a particle of independence. You see, mm -hmm. if this independence will not go, then Rati will not come. Independence is there, Rati will not come. Yes. Rati will totally over. Warm. Sri Guru Charana Rati means no anything has to think. There are two Kama Deva. One is material Kama Deva and one is Krishna Kama Deva. Yes. <laughs> So here, all the existence identification of I has to be finished with. So melting in the Manjari Sarup is very, very, very important. So this mentioned Gurudev. By proper use of that independence, he comes to under the direct order of Krishna. Uh, Thus, he attains his normal condition in the pleasure giving potency. Because then he comes on by mercy of Krishna. It also shows that we identify on the I. So, not living in a body, enjoyment of senses, only thinking for Krishna must come to that area with my soul to be always there. Then Krishna said, you are qualified for going to so many service before not. So, that he must in the 
So therefore, so Gurudev also come to me once. Yeah. We are chanting, so many devotees chanting Kamagayati. Uh, so what kind of consciousness? Actually, we are so much in our Dachi Bhav that only we feel Ananda when Bhava and Rasa is together. Bhav is it the full flow and the size also in full flow of no time, no confidential, openly they are meeting, they become Ananda, they are two become one. That mode of Ananda only Manjiri is left. <laughs> totally come from even the I existence, Sarupa. So if we understand Gurudev Mahaprabhu and Panchatattva. <laughs> <laughs> then, then we can more understand. <laughs> so, before was not playing, swing, hearing like this, but now it's a cling, why cling? You are only good. You are only my good. Even to the Guru Dev also coming to me. Means, Guru Dev, I want this goal. This very, very deep thing. We are, we are, before we are chanting, I. <laughs> and this is only you. One pointed on the you, on the you. And when I will be qualified, Gurudev, to be in that service of Radha more. Because Radha's conscience is only Kuri, huh? Krishna. There can be. She is not happy when she is alone. Mm. And Majiri service is to make them happy. And they are more happy. The ecstasy of happiness comes when they become anandu. That is the divine reason. <laughs> All three Goswamis are really showing me right way. Our Gurudev is showing me right way, helping me to bring them, to fix them. It's very deep. <laughs> uh, 
So if I like Rada, then I became slowly, slowly Rada Dasi. But if I like this material thing, then this consciousness will become like a characteristic of material body. Very simple. What I like makes our cerebral. That's it. Kindergarten. But it is what we are talking is out of that subject. Sorry. I'm not qualified. So we have to very careful understand. to understand the deepness of the subject. Yes. May I share something? Yes. Radha. It was yesterday when we were reading. And there was Radha was in Man. She was totally in Man and and Krishna wanted to get the mercy of Radha. So he burst in the Radha Kunda. So we were asking ourselves why, why he is passing in the Radha Kunda because Radha is in Mana and she doesn't want to see him. But now it came to me, he wanted to give up his independency. He didn't want to be any more independent. He just wanted to be with her. Yeah. And that's why the man of Radha is the mercy for Mohan. Yeah. That he got the mercy <laughs> from wow. her. Mm. And that is why he bathed in Radha Kunda. And that's why we also should bathe in Radha Kunda with this attitude that we give up our independence. Mm. Yeah. 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 Good. This is the subject to increase that power. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. え、よ、ちょっと待って。いや。プリーズ、プリーズ、プリーズ。ちょっと待って。プリーズ、プリーズ。ちょっと待って。プリーズ、プリーズ。ちょっと待って。プリーズ、プリーズ。ちょっと待
He got the, his saru. Why you will change? No. But this is Pancharatrik Parampara. Why? When? Then where he will go? Again starting ABCD? No. No, he cannot do this. And this only only possible Naga. Naga Bhajan and also this Pancharatri. 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 The name test is the appears. Sarup appears. Then one thing will grow, 25 percent will come. Second will grow, 50 will come. 75 will grow this. And when I will merge, my eye will merge in my sarup. <laughs> he called it. Yes. So, it's Shastra say, if some are ten, Guru Rati, he can get everything. Yeah. That's the book. Sri Guru Chan Rati. Yes. So, this is stage of Rati happens this time. So then we don't need to do anything else. Charana Rati Uttam Gati. Uttam Gati means when you will get the test of Rati. Before was also Rati you test this word. Material Rati. When this Rati will come, all will be crystal clear. What is the beauty of Rati? <laughs> Because material covering, Rati brings always in the material lust. Yeah. Not bring to the, what is the beauty of this lust. The spiritual lust. Yeah? <laughs> you want to share something? Yeah. Radhe Radhe Now you all <laughs> want to share. <laughs> what to share? But this is really a deep, deep subject. And it's not enough one Zoom or two Zooms or three Zooms. It's something which we really have to digest to really go deeper in this subject, because this is the first ray of prema. Yeah. This yeah. strat is first ray of prema. Yeah. This is door is starting to open. And this is possible, like you and Jananda Maharaj said, it's only by mercy, not with endeavor. It's uh, Rati appears actually by her own will because of influence of Hladini Shakti. So yeah. knowledge, lo knowledge, logic, uh, yoga, austerities doesn't work this. Yeah. The highest information is I. Whole yeah. books <laughs> about I. And I existence is also finished. In your <laughs> there. In your salute. Right? Yes. Rather. Now Gopinath is also ready something to say. Yes. 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 Yes.
Shila Vishnavat Chakravarti writes that when Rati appears, the devotee's feeling of I ness, of self identification, enters into the spiritual body which is fit for the execution of devotional service and it is as if he leaves his material devotee body sadhaka sharir the feeling of mindness then turns into a bumblebee that is very thirsty for the honey that trickles from the Lord's lotus feet. The Acharyas are in the kingdom of Mahabhav. Holding straws between their feet, they are loudly crying. I cannot tolerate this waiting anymore. Quickly make the tree of my aspirations bear fruit. In this way, they cry out for Swamini and call her. How merciful the Acharyas are for recording their transcendental experiences in their books. If Swamini's mercy comes from within their smarana or their experiences, then we will sell our hearts to their lotus feet. Shiragunadasa eagerly cries out, O oh my lords, Rupa and Sanatana, Radhe Radhe, this last sentence, O oh my lords, Rupa and Sanatana, Raghunath is crying and he is showing Guru Rati. <laughs> Without Guru Rati, he cannot cry like this. And he said, Oh, my Rupa and my Sanatana, you gave me Sambada, you gave me Abhideya, and by your mercy, maybe I will attain the goal of my life. So this is, as I can see now, <clears throat> this is the example of Shri Guru Charanerati, Kevala Bhakati Sama. Guru is the, giving pure, pure, pure Kevala Bhakti, pure Bhakti. So this is the reason why Rati is important. It's such a strong, intense love which brings enchantment. It's not love, but intense love 
in specific relationships. And this kind of enchantment makes rasa to appear. Rati, strong emotions, and the rasa according to desire of the heart of sadaka. And this progression of rati depends on type of rasa. When rati mixed with feelings of devotee who wants some to be just the servant, he is drowning in dasya rasa. When devotee wants to drown, is very attracted with the feelings of, of Madhurya Rasa. Rati is helping him and, and going through different stages. Prema, Sneha, Pranaya and so, so on, up to the Mahabhava. So with, this is the target for the Sadaka aspirant. I want by the mercy, by the Kripa, to come on this stage of enchantment that Rati appears in my heart. Because in that stage my heart will melt. And another symptom of Rati is also Rasamai red. Because I will just to find, yes, I cannot tolerate this waiting anymore. Devotee cannot tolerate to waste the time. This is the symptom of this strong, intense feelings, enchantments. I cannot waste the time anymore, and I cannot wait anymore. But like Jananda Maharaj said, in the humble way. It's not materialistic ambition, but desire for devotion. This is the difference between devotion and ambition. So this Rati, like all of you said, is a very deep subject matter, but we need this stage that our spiritual identity becomes so fixed and that our sadhakavesh simply merge in this swarup. All senses, all ego, all mind, just merged in this Swarup Vesh. And Rati is helping, and Rati is attracting Radhika and Radha Mohan more and more. Because with, without such a strong feelings, enchantments, state of madness, we can say, they cannot be attracted. And such kind of car heart is completely melted because it's full of rati. And this is the reason I can see here, maybe I'm wrong, why Baba is mentioning, why is rati the guarantee? It's guarantee that luster of love toward Radha and Krishna appear in front of our eyes, in front of our senses. This is guarantee. And this is the goal for a sadaka. Main, not main goal, but the goal. Because Rupa Goswami said in this Utkali Kavari, 
kaže, please show me luster of love. Luster of love. Rati. Prema. Because that is guarantee of seeing you. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the reason why it's a first ray of prema. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So Mahaprabhu say, "I'm the way, and uh, prema is the way, and prema is the goal." Yes. Antidila mm. four canto. <laughs> prema is the way, and prema is the goal. Not God is goal. Before we know that God is the goal, but Chaitanya Chaitamrit Adi Lila Four Canto say Prema is the way and Prema is the goal. Mm. Right? <coughs> yes, Gurudev, and Ramani is telling me now in the translation room, she is remembering me now. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to tr to pass her information. And he said, uh, Ragunath is Rati Manjari. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Em embodiment. Mm -hmm. Bud of this Rati. Mm -hmm. So we need the mercy. Oh, Rupa Ragunata Pade. Mm -hmm. So... Mm. Yeah. Rade, rade. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm confused now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very confused, uh, Rade, Rade. After listening to Jananda Maraji, Goraka Sundarvaya, and also, Mike, Mike. also Guru Dev, I feel uh, I feel I'm in the land of contradictions because. Rati means attachment, and we always here to be detached. We here to be humble, but here they are saying to be greedy, to be lusty. We here to be tolerant, but now Guranga Sundar said that we cannot tolerate anymore. We have to be you're impatient to be in the service of Swamini, and then there's also beautiful. Uh, we also hear that uh, false ego, we shouldn't have the ego, no abhiman. But then I remember that beautiful shloka, which is saying, Radha dasi yadi ho abhiman, sikre mile gokula khan. So to be proud to be a maidservant, if I'm proud that I'm a dasi of Radharani, then certainly I will reach, I will see Gokul's khana, Krishna. So now I'm a bit confused, Rudev. How to how to explain this contradiction? Like on the one way we hear we should be humble, tolerant, patient, not in the ego, but then here it's like Arakya, I feel, Gurudev. How to solve this? <laughs> Ram Baba, you want to talk? <laughs> I am. Uh, you are want to say no. Say, no, no I, 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 I am full. I, be, I get so, so many informations. <laughs> I have to digest first. <laughs> now, okay. Actually, <coughs> actually, uh, Gopinata Baba. <laughs> he knows everything, <laughs> but uh, he is asking on behalf of us. <laughs> so he's very humble, you know, because uh, so we could understand more deeply in this matter. <laughs> like a spiritual world and material world is a complete opposite way. <laughs> Like uh, if if we see mountain, like uh, so for example, so we come from Japan, so we have Mount Fuji. So uh, in this uh, on the fall, uh, on the surface of lake, if we see Mount Fuji and completely different 
Mm-hmm. Different feature like mm-hmm. it's Mount Fuji and but water like this. Mm-hmm. Like this, you know, Mount Fuji like this. Yeah. And then this this is surface. Then Mount Fuji is like this complete opposite way. So a material world was to sing. But in spiritual world, that is the best thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> therefore, if someone who is material consciousness, it's, it's, it's embarrassing actually. We should give up attachment. We should not attach anything. We should meditate Brahman. Brahman, Brahman, you know, right. Many yogi doing like this. But beyond that, that pers- perception, a spiritual love, spiritual attachment is actually highest things. If we see the behavior of Shirimate Radhika, she's completely something, you know, a material point of view, she becomes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> or even Krishna also crazy. <laughs> you know, he still butter, <laughs> he still cross of gopi, ladies. His name is devotee. Yes, devotee. <laughs> And he, he tell lie. <laughs> he eat. Lying. Yes. What? Lying? Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but the spiritual point of view, this is <laughs> highest. <laughs> but so therefore, it is said, uh, nobody understood someone who is uh, <laughs> Maha Bhagavat. <laughs> like, uh, you know, I said to Gurudev, Pagar, <laughs> Abaduta, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but uh, eh, material says this is offense. <laughs> but uh, spiritual says this is glorifying. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I say something. Sure. Narayan Maharaj, I read something in, uh, in one of his books. And uh, I read very simply that he said in this book that to criticize Krishna is actually service. But of course, to criticize Krishna, you have to know what you're doing. And you have to be in a certain kind of consciousness. So you can only be in the consciousness of one of the uh, adhyatmika uh, trends or uh, gopis or Manjavis, we have to have a spiritual understanding and realization so that you can do that. Otherwise, it's a very serious offense. Yes. So, like I say, Lava criticizes, you know, like a beloved. Like a gopi criticizes Christian like anything, you know, because of love. Even Jatira. She criticized Krishna, but for Krishna, that criticism become like nectar. <laughs> and also, I would like to say something, but this is not like uh, information giving. I want to share my experience, and maybe my experience is not is not um, accepted. Then I would like to receive a correction from any one of you here and anyone present in the Zoom. 
So my experience is I am sitting on Radharani's lap and I feel like a baby. And not only I feel like a baby now sitting on Radharani's lap, mm -hmm. but I always felt like a baby. The difference is before I was not a spiritual baby. I was just feeling like a baby lost in this world. And I was looking for help. Now I received help. I received some information. I received the information of who I am. I received the information of where I am and where I can be. So I am not always there on Radharani's lap, of course. I am very much in my body, in my sadhak deha. But sometimes I really have this uh, experience. This experience does not come in the form of visions or anything like that. It comes in the forms of feelings. They're just feelings. And I really... Excuse me. I really feel connected to Radharani in this way. And I am confident that Radharani will educate me. Or actually not Radharani personally, but the Manjaris who are there present will educate me to become an expert uh, maid servant of Radharani. That's all. Yeah, beautiful. We, we can read a little more? Yeah. Yeah. I believe. I see that. I see that. The worship of Radha is one of faithful allegiance. Because the goddess of Vaikuntha, Kamala Devi, did not accept the mood of Vraja, she could not attain Govinda's devotional service. Despite performing so many austerities, by following in the footsteps of the gopis, the Upanishadas and the sages of the Dandaka forest attained the service of Sri Krishna in Vraja. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is described the Upanishadas all followed the gopis, accepting the mood of the gopis, they worshipped the son of the queen of Fraja and thus attained a place in the gopi group in Vraja. In these bodies, they could associate with Krishna in the Rasa Lila. Krishna is born amongst the cow herders, and the gopis are his beloved. Krishna does not accept goddesses or any other kind of woman 
for his concerts. The goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, wanted to unite with Krishna in her self-same body, but she did not worship him in allegiance to the Gopikas. In other bodies, other than a gopi body, the rasa lila cannot be attained. Therefore, Veda Vyasa spoke the verse Nayam Shriyonga. U nitanta rateha prashad. Even the goddess of fortune did not attain Krishna's great loving mercy like the gopis did. Allegiance to the gopis reaches perfection in hearing, chanting, and remembering the eager prayers of the Acharyas. That is why it is called an internal sadhana. Rade. I think that we sh should stop here shortly because this very, very, very important instruction and example how even the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, couldn't attain close love association with Krishna without changing her body. We all know that Lakshmi has a spiritual body. Nothing is material in her body. But it is not enough to go in Vrindavan, especially in Rasalila, or to be in loving, close relationship with Krishna. And we can see from this example, this Lila is example, that she did so many austerities, and Vrajavasis are saying she is still doing austerities, but she cannot enter Vraja. So, importance of changing the body, changing the bhava to attain proper bhava deha. This importance is not avoidable. We, we cannot escape from that if we want Madhurya Rasa. <laughs> He is also classic. Yes, classic. Nearly classic. No, my dear. No, I'm sorry. Classic. One classic. One classic. And this is Anugatya. Allegiance. Following the footsteps. Sometimes devotees are asking, what does it mean to follow footsteps? I always have to look on the feet, on the, under the feet, how to, to step just according to their feet, which I follow. How, what does it mean, actually, to follow the feet? Following the feet, according to my understanding, is to follow the feelings in a humble way, yeah. Yeah. following, 
following, not imitating. This is completely another thing. Following. And why we want to touch the feet of devotees, of Gurudev, of Vaishnavas. Because we want to touch their heart. All the feelings from the heart of the person can go through the feet. And then the water, which is with which washing this lotus feet is charanamrita. What we want to drink. We want to drink the mercy which is coming from the heart through the feet. And we are touching the feet because we want to be humble. Like Jayananda said, and Gurudev, I don't, I remember two, three Zooms ago, he said that waterfalls are falling down. And if the person is completely on the ground, then he can catch all the drops of that. Mm -hmm. So allegiance, following the gopis, it means I want to, ch first I want to change my body. And what I'm doing, I want to attain this perfection through hearing, chanting, remembering their feelings, their prayers, which are full of realizations. And for me personally, may, I don't know for you, but for me it's amazing actually that someone who has a spiritual body, not material body like Lakshmi, he did it, she didn't want to change. She didn't want to be a coward girl. <laughs> she didn't want to, to go with the cows to do some simple things because it's not her mood. Her mood is to be in majestic Vaikuntha. So with this mood of Aishwarya, we cannot approach to Raja. Radhe Radhe. I'm sorry that I interrupt all of you. Just one, uh, one listening to my our dear Bhaiya, our Rasika Goranga Sundar. I was just feeling that um, how fortunate we are to have been introduced to this Brajamut by Mahaprabhu and the Goswami Sentra Guru this causeless mercy. We can understand how fortunate we actually are because in the entire universe there are so many spiritual entities as we heard. Lakshmi Devi, Parvati, all the goddesses, all the rishis who are trying to attain, you know, who are trying to attain Krishna, the Supreme, but they have to, they not, cannot enter that mood of Braj, because as Guranga Sundar said, they are, cannot change their body into a gopi body. But uh, because of Mahaprabhu, who gave us this mercy of Manjari Bhav and the Bhava Deya to Gurudev, we can actually be so close to the Supreme that we can even kick him <laughs> when he's not uh, doing his rightful duty with Swamini. And like, for instance, this Leela, when he's trying to paint her lotus feet and his hand are shaking, then Rupa or Tulsi Manjari come and give him a, a gentle push and say, go away. You cannot do it. This Supreme who's yearning for the mercy of the Manjaris to give him a chance to meet Swamini or to do some seva, this is really the fortunate of this Praja mood which has been imbibed into our hearts and which we can cultivate and practice. So I was just feeling this, how actually fortunate we are that we, like ordinary, you know, 
ordinary beings in this lost material world have been introduced to this beautiful divine reality that we can actually like you know be so close to the divine couple and this morning uh, gopika and i were reading one verse from radha sasudanidi that when the manjaris are or 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 shri pad in his kinkari form she's massaging the feet of radharani of the well, they lying both on the bed and radharani gets so happy with the manjari and to reward it she just tells to shams to kiss the manjari on the cheek knowing that of course sham knows that the manjari is totally loyal and belong to radharani but that i just felt like how like lakshmi devi cannot even get a glance and the manjari can even get a kiss on the cheek rather <laughs> yeah Gurudev right? just um, touched a very beautiful uh, subject which I've also been meditating in during Kartik month was that actually so fortunate to be in this parampara and this Guru Pranali, this family where we have so many, you know, kinkaris running around and trying to help us and they only want to help us and the uh, guru said like uh, radha mohan das baba ji his god brother very close to keshav baba keshav baba once said the greatest joy which a spiritual master can have is when his disciple got it when he has realized his swarup 
there is no other bigger joy in the entire universe if he got it you know Ishwar Singh and this is what Guru Devas is said like if one of us gets it then that soul can help so many others and we're so fortunate we don't have to look around actually we don't have to go to other places to other paramparas actually within our own <coughs> Guru Parampara there are so who live who are there are those who are living in their Swarup and there is for instance very beautiful Sadhu Baba living in Govardhan he's a disciple of Mo, Radha Mohan Das Babaji and very close and loving intimate to Gurudev he's almost blind yet he's doing every day Dandavat Parikram since 30 years of Govardhan the instructions of his Gurudev every day and uh, when you meet him which sometimes happens there's some then there's some merciful arrangement one can meet him either Govardhan or he, sometimes once a year twice he comes to Vrindavan you can really feel Param Guru Dev Shakti the blessings which are there and then also Shyam Sundar he's a disciple of Keshav Baba he was a military doctor serving in the Indian army and he came one day to Vrindavan and entered Mungir Mandir. Kesha Baba told his story. Kesha Baba was at the Guru Samadhi and then Shamsundar came. Shamsundar was inquisitive, you know, he was wondering about the goal of life, you know, what's the meaning like we all do. So he asked Kesha Baba, what should one do in life. And who knows Kesha Baba? He's very pragmatic, <laughs> very highly elevated. So Baba said, Baba told I only said this, Baba said, I only said one sentence to him. I said, the only thing one should do in life is to try not to come back again, not to be reborn. <laughs> in that moment, Shamsundra just left everything. And uh, Baba gave him Diksha and he just left his job and uh, he's staying now since 12 years in Barsane. For many years he was living under a tree and uh, now he uh, has a more, uh, more concrete tree <laughs> staying there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's beautiful, like he's so deeply merged into Radha Bhav and fully practicing. and. Uh, Gurudev always says you can uh, assess how advanced a guru is by seeing his disciples. So Kesha Baba doesn't have many disciples, but if you meet this, you understand what Kripa we have that we are this Guru Parampara. And of course, also with our other brother, on other brother the younger brother of Shyam Sundar, Madan Mohan, he also just came. Uh, almost uh, maybe a year ago to Rindown. He was also a paramedic at the army. Um, and he came also... Engineer. He's engineer. Huh? Mother paramedic. He's a doctor. He's a paramedic. Uh, Shamsundar was a doctor and he's a, like a paramedic, like a nurse in the hospital of the Indian army. He's a nurse. Paramedic. Uh, Mother <coughs> uh, So he's also now fully absorbed in Bhajan, living in Braj. And uh, Kesha Baba said that if one has realized, he will pull many. So that's why we are also here at the Lotus Feet of Gurudev, because he's pulling us. And uh, Gurudev and Kesha Baba also like say, like, stay on the track, you know, like you don't have to do much, you know. Mm -hmm. We just have to do actually effortlessly because they are pushing us. They are making sure that we go reach the goal line, you know, we cross that. They're pushing us just not to go off track, you know, just stay on the track. And sometimes it goes slow, sometimes it goes fast, sometimes there are ups and downs, but let's just pray and stay on this track. And they are pushing us. Gurudev, all is the Mohandas Baba Ji, Kesha Baba, Param Gurudev, and Param Param Gurudev, all the Parampara, the only one that we reach there, there's no other thing they have in mind, you know, they're all but they're have arranged and they're doing is only that we can reach there. So what you say, Guru Harris? Faith, hope, hope, faith, love. Faith, hope and love, Guru Dev. Thank you. Jai <laughs>
And if you see hopelessness, every place you will see hopeless. Because what is missing, faith is missing. When there is a faith, there is a hope. And when there is a hope, love is there. I see this verse in the church. And I always repeat it. <coughs> because I, <laughs> what you say? I digest it. <laughs> I understand this. I don't know you see or not, but you understand or not, or digest or not. It's the last, it's the last sentence of the Corinthian. A brief example. But understanding, I say, understand things will change. Faith, hope, love. Love is the point where God has to come to you. So in English, there is a saying which said, when you have no faith, you are homeless. Homeless. Yeah, you have no home. Because you have no faith. So homeless and hopeless. Yeah. Homeless, hopeless. Uh, we have a home for the We even have a job there and an address in the home. That's yeah. why we have hope. Yeah, we have everything. Even clothes we have there. Oh, everything is there. And some need also the yeah. most <laughs> What is what is missing? We have our garden house. What is there to give what is necessary to me? Yeah. 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 Ye